consensual, like I said, um, polygamous situation or open relationship, or at least a lot of infidelity going on within the situation. It's very toxic. Like I said, a lot of temptations. A lot has happened within this karmic situation. And someone has found out. There's someone whose ego is bruised, someone who's very upset about the fact that someone that you're connected to or that you're no longer with, that you even released, still has feelings for you. Someone is frustrated because they're not winning in the situation and someone is becoming obsessed with the whole situation. But there's exposure that's happening, may have already happened online information, maybe again, blackmail, slander, lies, but there's exposure, there's revelations that are happening here because someone again has a lot of anger, okay? This is someone who's really like unstable, this is someone who shouldn't have weapons, this is someone who is becoming overwhelmed with their obsession about the situation but someone knows that the situation is unhealthy but they still they still want control here someone is hungry for control but they can't control the fact that someone that they're connected to is not able to get over you or not able to let go of a connection where there is like some type of deep bond, you know, um, sexual chemistry, a mental connection, telepathy. Someone can feel this. And again, someone is hyper focused here. Because they know that there's an energy here that wants to communicate, that wants to act, that wants to passionately move forward towards some type of reconciliation or reunion and leave this toxic situation behind to bring justice to you. Or again, whoever the Queen of Cups is. because someone's not happy in this very depressive, dark, overindulgent karmic connection. And someone's very much feeling rejected, hurt. There's a lot of deception going on within this situation. And I feel like someone is just ready to spill it all let's just let it all out they know that something is brewing they know that they're dealing with someone who's unstable obsessed and someone is just ready to let it all out again disturbia someone's just ready to expose themselves here all for this queen of cups or or you Okay, or you could be the one that's in this karmic situation. But like I said, there's a lot of um, obsessive energy around this Queen of Cups, but who looks like they're just kind of focused on themselves here. This, you know, um, Ten of Wands represents avoiding a situation. Someone that you walked away from because you're healing, because you're trying to build focus. There may be love there, but, you know, if there is something that's coming back around, use your discernment in terms of reconciliation, in terms of, you know, um, dealing with this energy that's coming towards you. But it looks like you or this Queen of Cups is focused on, on new, on the truth, on justice, on fairness, and something has been cut out. And some one is moving toward, again, new opportunities. Stability.
again, a lot of obsessive energies, a lot of moving parts. But ultimately, there's a lot of people that are trying to make things right with you. Am I even getting... In terms of career, there could be someone that you walked away from in terms of a business partnership. And there's someone that's watching you, wanting to make an offer to work with you again. But they could be doing something underhanded, something legal. There could be some like fine print in a contract that they're trying to pull you back in with. But from career to family to karmic situations, third parties that you have separated yourself from. There's a lot of obsessive energies that want a piece of you or want to draw blood or, or you know, people who are envious or that have an axe to grind with others that they're connected to who are trying to move towards you. Okay, so um, when I got the energy in the beginning of the reading that there is this energy of you being in a protective bubble and that you are just attracting things towards you and moving towards the new, there are many people around you that can pick up on that energy and it's like, moth to a flame energy okay but wow that's that's what's happening okay just be mindful that there are a lot of eyes on you seen and unseen okay and there is an obsessive energy that is um really Unwilling to let go, unwilling to relinquish control. Um, and there's someone that is resisting temptation, okay, when it comes to you. And it could be someone that you would never expect, is what I'm getting. Someone that you would never expect. Like I said, someone has people working with them, you know, gaining information about you, um, checking up on you. It could be family. It could be random people, okay? We have the Three of Pentacles here. So there's someone who is trying to figure things out about you, Page of Swords, Five of Swords in reverse, because they want some type of resolution. It could be several earth signs it can be an Aquarius it could be um Gemini or Libra okay can we clarify what's going on in this karmic situation with the Hierophant the five of pentacles and the three of cups in reverse Two of Swords, a lot of confusion, chaos, um, an emotional decision that someone had to make uh, possibly to walk away from a third party situation. There's a lot of confusion and chaos within this marriage or this high level commitment or this family or whatever this karmic situation is, some couple or Someone you walked away from and their karmic is dealing with a lot of karma. Someone could have lost their home. Someone could be living with their family. But there's a lot of confusion, a lot of backlash, okay? Because there's a lot of individuals. So there's a lot of infidelity that's going on here. We have cancer energy here as well. Someone is trying to make it difficult for someone to walk away from this third party 
because they intuitively know or they have gotten proof that someone is moving towards you with this passion, with this truth, with this justice. And someone's made a choice. Someone knows who their person is. And someone is angry within the situation. Someone wants blood. So before someone can come to you with justice, there's going to be something legal. There's going to be some type of exposure. You may even get a karmic partner coming towards you. This could be the person you would never expect that could have some type of obsession with you as well. Okay. So we have the two of swords to clarify what's going on inside this this broken situation. Okay. A lot of conflict. Someone is very overwhelmed. Could be the individual that's wanting to get out of this. But this individual um, is not innocent in the situation either. been a lot of chaos I'm getting someone feels emasculated or out of control Anything else about what's going on inside this karmic situation? We have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. So, more information about what's going on inside of this karmic situation where someone feels trapped, where someone has found out that someone is coming to bring you justice or... Um, someone is coming to bring this Queen of Cups justice. This Queen of Cups who has made a decision to end a cycle, who's focused on the, a new beginning. We have a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so whatever's going on in this situation where someone's trying to walk away from a third party. All right, remember there's about to be some dirty laundry exposed. There's a lot of moving parts within this connection temptations it could be a polygamous type of relationship it could be an alternative lifestyle open relationship um but we have a queen of wands so it could be a leo and we have a water sign feminine energy here as well um Wow, so there's a lot of people here. <laughs> um, again, like we said, we have someone who is obsessed with you or the Queen of Cups who is watching, waiting, stalking. You know, this could be the person that you walked away from, or the person who chose someone else over you. This could be someone that they're connected to. But there's a lot of people that has their eyes on you, okay? And this could be part of this three of pentacles energy of people that someone is, has watching you, getting information about you, okay? But Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? This could represent the same person. This could represent the karmic energy, okay? This could be someone that's very beautiful, Queen of Wands. This could be someone who... Um, is passionate, very sexual, but with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is someone who 
specializes in emotional blackmail. Um, this could be someone who is very like emotionally abusive, aggressive, cold, uses their looks, their sexuality to get what they want. Um, this could represent someone who is very immature emotionally. The Queen of Cups in reverse can represent someone who is insecure, very jealous, okay? This combination is someone who likes to be in control and dominate situations. Someone who can be almost, if they are a female, which we're not, this is not a gender, gender specific reading, we're reading energies, but if it is a female, this is someone who is almost manly in their aggression, okay? Um, but yeah, this is like someone who's very jealous, very controlling. And if this karmic energy found out that someone is passionate, despite all of their energy work, two of swords, um, control, manipulation, sex, blackmail is still focused on bringing you or whoever the Queen of Cups is this message, this passion, this truth. And that this person that they're with sees you as this energy This karmic energy is obsessed with regaining control and by any means necessary will try or has tried to destroy this energy that wants to move towards you. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of confusion, a lot of energy being manipulated here. There's delusion, there's chaos within the situation. And both people here are suffering. And both people here are obsessed, lost in some type of addictions. Feeling overwhelmed. And there's a lot of betrayal that's happening within the situation. Again, a lot of individuals, many different people within this, this marriage or this commitment. And someone here is... All the while going through all of this, like I said, whoever's moving towards you has a lot of manipulative qualities as well. But I feel like they are going through the motions because there's been a lot of energetic interference, manipulation, control by this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups energy, Two of Swords in reverse. And even if this person is not with this karmic, this karmic is relentless and is super obsessed with this individual and with you. But whether they're apart or together, there's karma, okay? And there's anger and there is resentment here. And that's what's going on within this this karmic connection all the while a lot of focus is being placed on you while you're just here completing a cycle and focusing on what's to come protecting your energy And moving towards what you've manifested. Being creative, healing yourself and others. It looks like there's going to be a major decision that's going to be made here. Once this truth comes in. That's going to allow for 
a lot of walls to come down, a lot of vulnerability. Whether it's with healing something or as you're moving into something new, possibly a soulmate energy that's coming in that has manifested you and you've manifested them. Okay, this can represent just sacred union within self, you know, getting the justice that you deserve in terms of a passion project. Okay, remember, this Ace of Cups is in this Four of Cups energy is about a divine blessing that someone is ready to receive here. A new offer in business and love. There's healing for you, Sagittarius. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Coins with the Sun in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Someone's crying a lot. Okay. Um, someone's crying a lot really big tears coming down there okay that's the five of cups it's like um scorpio energy water despair regret you know um about a situation that someone chose possibly over you someone is stuck in something karmic here someone has you know dealt with a lot of corruption within their family um loss theft Someone feels lonely within a situation where they're surrounded by a lot of people. Someone feels as if they've lost their son. Okay. This is depression. This is, a, you know, pain. Someone feels disconnected from you. Maybe you're their light. Someone feels stuck with someone who's very egotistical. Um, someone that they thought they were supposed to build a family with. This person is like very selfish, okay? And it's only in it for money, okay? Someone has lost respect for someone. Um, someone is trying to get out of a marriage or out of a family situation or organization or a business and they feel as though they have lost an opportunity but someone is still holding on. They're still watching you. They're not letting go. And someone is watching them as well. Okay. Um, someone feels as if they have lost an opportunity here. And that possibly you are moving forward into a new cycle. And they are stuck in a situation that is not what they originally planned. They chose wrong. And someone is really crying a lot, okay? We have Leo energy here, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio. And the last card we'll take off out of this deck is the Two of Cups. Someone feels disconnected. Someone feels as if they've lost um, someone very important to them. And they feel disconnected where they are. They feel um, imbalanced, unworthy, okay? There's a struggle every day, okay, dealing with the situation. And that's why they are moving towards you, but this individual just does not seem balanced, okay? They may feel as though they are moving towards you with the right intentions, but they are attached to a lot, of toxicity and it's just drama this individual is this king of pentacles in reverse is not balanced okay um it's been a, a difficult time manifesting um this is repressed emotions. This is, you know, not doing well um, financially. This is abuse. This is neglect. And they see you as the empress, okay? 
this individual that wants to come towards you sees you as their emotional fulfillment. The Empress is balanced. That's three energy. Okay. This is someone who is full of water, someone who is a nurturer, someone who is a creator, someone who is beautiful and divine. And once you have felt this nourishment, this emotional fulfillment from the Empress, nothing else will do. And this is how someone sees you, but they're stuck in something very karmic. There's obsession. Um, there's temptation. But I feel like, again, baby, those walls I built, they are tumbling down. Okay? Someone is ready to be vulnerable. You know, but they have to get past a very vengeful energy. And they have to be willing to, again, be vulnerable. Because someone is uh, aware that they are in this energy although they are kind of being manipulative by staying in this karmic energy some of them are maybe being manipulated and controlled but someone is kind of biding their time okay to make their way towards you and a karmic energy is, is aware of it and they are ready to draw blood because they are feeling rejected and angry Okay, and they are hungry, this karmic energy for revenge. Okay, and, and this again is a very toxic situation. It's a lot of moving parts. This karmic can be working with other people, you know, against you, against this, this individual that's moving towards you. Even though you are focused on a whole new cycle and you're definitely protected, there are just energies that are just trying to disturb the peace. Again, all the D words that you can think of causing distractions. Someone trying to create distance between you and some type of divine connection. Someone in Disturbia energy, period. Obsessive, controlling. But you're protected, okay? And this is a circle that this energy is trying to get within as they're escaping this. As they're escaping this. What is this energy bringing toward you? In relation to this reconciliation You wanted to know with this Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Five of Cups in reverse, which is someone who is sucking something karmic, who is wanting to or someone who's trying to walk away from a third party situation, whether that's addiction, whether that's another person, I definitely feel like it's a person or a marriage or a high level commitment or a family situation, organization. Someone who wants, very much wants forgiveness and wants um, some type of reunion. A race, someone who's very passionate, feels very much a lot of passion um, in their head, wants to communicate um, to the love of their life, to someone that they feel drawn to, bound to, deeply connected to. Um, I wanted to know what were they bringing, okay, towards you or the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. What is this justice, okay? And we have the moon, okay? So they're bringing some type of clarity, okay? They are wanting to share the fact that they have been longing for you, yearning for you, possibly. Um, the moon comes with secrets, okay? The moon comes with something being illuminated. Something that's been done in the dark. Something that you may not expect, may not know. I feel if you're the Queen of Cups, you probably do know or have an inkling, okay? That's probably why you cut the cycle out. 
But to clarify this justice energy, what this individual is stuck in their mind about, what they want to share, Knight of Swords comes in quick. Okay, Knight of Pentacle, Knight of uh, Wands comes in with passion. And again, someone's in their head, nostalgic, although they're stuck in something karmic about you. And they want to bring you justice. They want to tell you the truth about something that's been done in the shadows here. Because that's something to do with energy work. Something to do with psychic forces, possibly. But whenever you have the moon, it speaks about yearning. And emotion the masculine and the feminine okay and the typical rider weight depiction you know you have the the moon overtaking the sun which represents the masculine and the feminine okay so someone just wants to come towards you to express their feelings uh, express how they recognize what this connection is okay the moon also represents needing to be fulfilled you know this could be a lot of again sexual passion that someone has for you all right but it goes beyond that for this individual you know it could be a sub obsession but there's a yearning here and there's also some type of deep emotional fulfillment that someone wants to express um they want to talk about things that they've been through um a lot of unforeseen obstacles and illusions that they were put under they want to talk about something that happened to them or something that they did to you or something that parties unbeknownst to you did to you okay so this is what they want to bring to you in terms of this justice with this moon card on the bottom of the deck what do we have in terms of this message yeah, the Hierophant, again, they want to talk about that they are walking away from a marriage, um, about something that someone did to them, Hierophant in reverse, again, we have it twice, represents walking away, rebelling, it talks about an ending of a marriage, ending of a high level commitment, they talk about someone misusing their power, again, the moon and the Hierophant together, two times, psychic forces, misuse of knowledge, misuse of spirituality, um, again, trying to walk away from a commitment, and again, I'm um, getting Taurus here very strong. This individual could be walking away from some type of karmic individual. It could be a Taurus for sure. This could be the same individual that's obsessed with you, obsessed with them. Someone who has an axe to grind. Someone who is involved and has a lot of information on this individual. Blackmail. This is the same energy that's representing the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Wands. Again, a lot of sexual energy. This could be a lot of promiscuity. There's a lot of dirty laundry that someone wants to bring to you first. Someone wants to be vulnerable, let it all out. But there's a lot that someone wants to express about this Hierophant in reverse energy. There's been several towers, five, five. We have five, five, five on the board. Angel numbers, we have um, three, three, three. We have um, nine, nine, as well as several fours. So a lot of clarity coming in. And um, again, a lot of towers has happened, cycles repeated, um, that someone couldn't get out of because of some type of psychic forces. Someone wants to speak about their truth, maybe even expose and reveal their role in it, okay? But that's what they are bringing towards you. I'm not sure if you even wanna hear this or wanna know this or more than likely, again, if you're the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, energy, the Empress, okay, came out, then you probably already know or um, this will be just confirming what you already subconsciously knew. I'm not sure how you're going to receive this information or if it's just going to be um, a way to seal the ending because you are focused on a new beginning. This could be the catalyst that could bring in some type of reunion or reconciliation. Use your discernment, but this is what this energy is bringing your way. Okay. This is what this energy is bringing your way. Mm. 
And the last card was the Two of Cups, okay? Um, they want to just come in and try to, again, reconnect, rebuild. They see you as someone that completes them, that makes them whole. Two of Cups is about, you know, harmony. They want to bring harmony. Um, they are attracted to you. They can't stop thinking about you, the connection, what could be, etc. All right. And they want to fix something. They want to make something right. But they um, may be too late. Okay. And we're going to leave it there. We're going to go ahead and let's see. Let's just see if we can pull some cards just to, to narrow down the energies um, for who's coming through for you. Um, let's clarify more about who this individual is that's coming towards you. Um, I'm definitely getting that they're coming towards you to speak about some type of karmic energy that could be a Pisces, Pisces moon, um, Taurus for sure, Leo. Capricorn, but the individual that's coming towards you could be another Sagittarius, a Gemini, I'm getting Gemini Moon, I'm getting Cancer Moon, I'm getting Virgo, I'm getting um, Scorpio. coming towards you let's see if we can narrow down who this energy is that's coming towards you can we clarify the energy that's coming towards Sagittarius with this message about this Taurus or about this water sign or this karmic energy please clarify show me clearly we have Gemini okay we have Gemini and the second deacon of Gemini to narrow it down. Someone very mercurial, someone who could be ruled by Mercury. So again, it could be Gemini or Virgo, but Gemini came through here strongly. The second deacon of Gemini, okay? So definitely could be a Gemini that's coming in to communicate, okay? Which makes sense with the, uh, the Knight of Swords. Who's coming forward to communicate this message about what they've been through and how they feel to Sagittarius? We have Capricorn, second beacon here as well. This could, again, be someone with a Capricorn moon. Um, Gemini energy, it could be someone with a... North node, south node in Gemini, Mars in Gemini, okay, or sun, but we're also getting Gemini, we're getting Capricorn, second deacon as well, someone with the Capricorn moon, okay, let's get one more, who's coming through with this message to Sagittarius, we have Pisces, We have Pisces, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, we have Taurus. And then there we are, okay? Sagittarius, guys. Showing up for your reading, okay? Or you could be dealing with another Sagittarius, okay? Right below that, we do have Saturn, okay, so someone is learned their lesson, someone has is dealing with a lot of karma. Someone is trying to fight, you know, to pull themselves out of some type of karmic cycle. Someone could be experiencing a Saturn return, okay. And this karmic uh, cycle could involve 
a Capricorn, okay? We have Aquarius. And we have Virgo. Yeah, if this is a Virgo, they've experienced several towers, okay? Um, and again, this tower is coming down, hitting this boat. Someone has a lot of emotions, okay, that they need to convey about the lessons that they've learned. In this karmic cycle with this Capricorn or with this Taurus or with this Pisces, okay? But the individual that's bringing you this message definitely could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Okay, Sagittarius, let's get some oracles for you guys to end the reading. Divine advice for Sagittarius. Divine advice for Sagittarius. Wow. A lot is coming your way in terms of communication so be prepared okay for word vomit that's what I'm getting from all those cards spilling out like that word vomit um, emotion spilling over a lot of communication divine advice please for Sag We have Van Gogh, okay? So that does make some sense here because Van Gogh, um, very expressive, okay, dramatic art. Um, we did get the energy of uh, something to do with someone kind of suffering, like physically, their physical health, um, mental, emotionally. Um, Van Gogh was an Aries, okay? And he was a recluse. Suffer from neglect, okay? Uh, this could definitely represent someone who, a synchronicity, a synchronicity could be this is someone who um, is an introvert, someone who stays to themselves, but this individual is ready to make a dramatic and bold expression, okay? Um, this could be someone who has hidden gifts, okay? Someone who could be creative, writer, musician, painter, but this is someone who typically stays to themselves. This is someone who is suffering, possibly mentally, physically, or emotionally, but they are ready to come forward and make a bold expression. <laughs> make a bold expression um, to you or whoever this Queen of Cups is. Okay. And that bold expression is going to have a lot to do with trying to bring harmony to a situation. advice I feel like I've been on a roller coaster with your energy but most of it's not even your energy Sagittarius that's what I'm getting you know most of it's not even your energy I feel like I've been inside of this washer here 
and it's just it's a lot of stuff going on around you but you know this is you standing in your truth taking care of yourself healing cutting things out that don't serve your greatest and highest good drinking from your own cup you know being creative mastering a skill here receiving new opportunities and yet there's so much going on around you I'm not even sure if you are even aware because you're so hyper focused but yeah it's just it's remarkable how much energy is swirling all around you and like I said it's disturbing and it's someone who wants to disturb the peace and it's someone who's in the disturbia energy you know check out that the, the lyrics to that song but they can't disturb your peace I get the song don't disturb this groove so yeah you're in a sacred bubble of protection okay um ready to attract things unimaginable beautiful loving relationships because you attract what you are right your aura is this pink heart energy okay and someone wants to disturb this peace but you are creating this sacred space and that's what I'm getting from your energy but everything around outside the circle Everything outside this circle is this energy. And that's what someone is trying to escape from to make their way to you. Because you are the empress, okay? Someone is seeking that emotional fulfillment that only you can provide. In their opinion. And someone doesn't like it, okay? And that's why someone is trying to disturb the peace and break through uh, your energy, but they can't. Okay, we have a Leah warning overload, number eight. Warning, overload. Again, remember, someone is seeking a resolution. Someone wants a resolution. And this is a warning that someone, while you're in your protective bubble, there is someone who's trying to breach the parameters and they are working with other people. Again, um, investigating, spying, you know, using family members. They're doing everything that they can. In the meantime, they're plotting a way to make their way to you to deliver this message about all that they've been through and how much love they have for you and how they can't get over you because they want a resolution. Five of swords in reverse, okay? But this is divine advice, okay? Number eight, um, this is about a warning, okay? About whatever someone is coming back around to resolve use your discernment here okay use your discernment if something doesn't feel right don't do it don't go Aaliyah we have Capricorn energy here um, use your discernment in terms of this resolution um, reunion, reconciliation. How, however, I do feel like there could be balance restored, but you're going to have to use your discernment, okay? Because we have the warning overload energy here, but someone do feel as if you are one in a million, and it could be just an energy vampire who needs your energy that's one in a million, okay? So use your discernment here. But there is going to be a expressive display of Emotion
that someone is going to be bringing towards you. Okay. Um, we have the Karen Carpenter card here. So divine advice here is that um, this could represent that three of pentacles energy where I said that there's um, a lot of energies around you that are like really paying close attention to you. Um, someone could be using family members. Remember, this is a, a group, um, a, a sibling band. So someone could be using people that you know to bring them information about you, okay? Um, this could represent a Pisces energy, but yeah. Be mindful because there are people that someone is using to get close to you in some way and then we have the loud speaker okay broadcast exposure that goes perfectly with this energy here dirty laundry loud speaker exposure okay so be prepared for revelations information that you may or may not know that someone that sees you as in this energy is bringing towards you someone's ready to be vulnerable let their walls down but at any rate someone else that they're connected to is ready to expose things to or maybe you prepare to hear from a karmic individual but there may be things that you know and there may be things that you will be surprised to hear Okay, online or otherwise, there will be exposure here. Number 73, reducing to 11. I mean, we're just sorry, reducing to 10. That's going to also help move the cycle forward. There could be information that comes out that's going to allow for you to completely let something go. Where you may have been on the fence, you may no longer be. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, Underneath the sacred circle in the sacred space card, we have that dark portal. Okay. Um, there's definitely this energy of disturbia, okay, around you. Someone who, again, that's obsessed. That's someone who has an axe to grind, someone who's trying to disturb the peace. And this could be the energy of the one that's coming towards you, okay, trying to heal or bring harmony to your connection there's exposure that's happening and someone that they're connected to is trying to control the situation okay that same energy is focused on you but anything that they're bringing towards you is going right back to them you are safe and you are protected for Sagittarius. We have bound. Yeah, there's someone here in the situation that feels bound, okay, to something very karmic. There's a lot of obsession here um, all the way around. Spitefulness, vengefulness. Temptations, addictions, codependency. We have shadow work. Shadow work. Okay. Someone could be, you know, needing to do shadow work 
on themselves. Someone needs to face um, themselves, face their karma before they can come to forward towards you. Even speaking about love, how can you love someone else when you don't even know who you are? You're not willing to, to face yourself. You're not really willing to go within, okay? Um, this could be representative of someone becoming aware of someone that they are connected to karmically, whether it's family, business, a high level commitment or otherwise. There's someone who is bound to someone through karma. And this could also represent someone noticing and understanding the shadow of someone else and they're trying to break free of it, okay? Purge. This could represent divine advice for you to just break free. This is almost like moon energy, purging all negativity and evolving. You evolving past this connection or someone trying to evolve past something very karmic to move towards you, okay? And then we have numbing. So someone feels stuck, all right? Someone could be stuck. Someone could be minimizing their role within the situation. But at any rate, there is going to be some truth that's coming towards you. Um, revelations. An offer. That you're going to have to use your discernment about. There is a snake inside of that cup. Okay. Someone is no longer going to be mute. In relation to... A third party situation that they are walking away from they're going to express when they come forward everything that was hidden all that they have been through all that they were involved in there could be some things that surprise you some things that may not okay a lot of manipulation a lot of illusions a lot of psychic forces, okay? All of the truths are coming out and someone is in deep, deep contemplation here. The divine advice is that irregardless of what is being discussed, what is being revealed, about the past, secrets. There's gonna be a lot to contemplate, but what I'm getting here is that you, or whoever this Queen of Cups is, is it's going to be healing through all of this and moving into a new direction. I feel like everything that comes out is going to be the catalyst to get things moving in a new direction. Okay, but what this energy is bringing towards you is a lot of painful truth. Remember those walls I built? Were, well, baby, they're tumbling down. And no matter what happens in the situation, the divine advice is to continue healing, continue creating, continue healing others, moving forward, trusting your intuition. But this individual that's coming towards you is bringing and dropping down revelation bombs that are going to change everything. They want to let you know that you're the love of their life. 